Why did you call call so? Why did you keep that day? Today has been a very lively discussion day about whether this ad from the Gap is disrespectful of Sikhs or not. Today I called for a protest to be held at the Gap store down in Davis, California and invited a lot of people on Facebook to come and join us in that protest march to protest against this ad. Now, the debate, like I said, was very lively and a lot of Sikhs participated, about a hundred comments on the debate about whether or not this ad is appropriate and whether it is disrespectful of Sikhs or not. Let's first look at the uh, picture that's uh, controversial here. You can see here this uh, Sikh man with a sexy model posed next to him. And she has her hand on top of his star, and then her other hand is clenched onto his shirt with his chest exposed. So those are the facts of the picture. And as I had said previously in one of my other videos, I thought this was completely disrespectful of Sikhs and that it is only a gimmick by the Gap in order to uh, sell clothing, basically. So many young Sings, young Sikhs, and specifically male Sikhs, wrote in opposition to my uh, uh, having this protest. They expressed strongly, uh, I was a little bit surprised actually, that they felt like this ad was appropriate, that they felt like um, this uh, Sikh was doing nothing wrong by posing in this ad. So again, we had this lively debate where I and some of the other uh, uh, older Sikhs and um, the uh, women too, the Sikh women on, on the website, I think without exception, all uh, were saying that this was inappropriate behavior for a Sikh man to be engaged in, and that it was disrespectful of not only Sikhs, but of the Sikh symbol, the Dastar, or turban, where uh, this woman is putting her hand on the turban, and uh, it's like uh, she's almost controlling him. And so, like I said, some of us felt like this was inappropriate, and some of the, uh, or most I should say, most of the young uh, Sikh men thought that it was appropriate. So I wanted to address a letter uh, specifically that I wrote at the end of the discussion to some of these young Sikh men who may or may not be aware of the hidden agenda that's really going on there with the gap and these uh, sexually oriented uh, models that are engaged in this activity. So I wrote here, and I'll read the letter to you all. I said, we have had a good debate today with almost 100 comments on the subject of whether the Gap ad is disrespectful of Sikhs or not. I just, I've noticed that many young Sikhs have said that there is nothing wrong with the Gap ad. And I want to direct this post to these young Sikh boys. Why did you call so? Why did you keep that Keep in mind that by December, the Sikh model in the Gap ad and his sexy friend will be long gone 
from GAF's ad strategy. These big corporations use young, innocent minority men and women and then throw them out like an old, used shoe that they've walked all over and worn out. After only a few weeks, it's another golden boy who will take his or her 15 minutes of fame with another sexy model. Kind of the way I saw Western women treat Indian boys when I was detained in India for almost two years. I witnessed 40-something-year-old Western women looking for a good time who would hitch up with an Indian boy and use him for a few months as a sex toy and companion. Then these women would jet back to their home country, never to be heard of again. And this is absolutely true. The Western women would come there, and I saw them hook up with these young Sikh Indian boys, and then they would just dump them after, and leave them after a few months. And this is the same thing that these big corporations do with the young uh, Sikh uh, uh, men. They come here, and they're, they're so desirous to be accepted by Western society that they buy into this um, uh, these sexually oriented ads and uh, they want to be accepted. Uh, so they buy into this whole Maya thing that these corporations are offering. Don't let the gap fool you. These corporations are not interested in promoting the Sikh lifestyle or values like family or belief in one God. They just want to show they have power over Sikhs and other minorities and in increasing their corporation's market share. Thus the sexy model and the Gap ad, who is placing her hand on the Sikhs to star in a controlling manner. As one of the uh, posters pointed out in her comment, she says, the woman model is holding him, the Sikh boy, by the scruff, as he would a dog or a cat, and pressing down on his to star. Corporations like the Gap catch innocent minorities in their big net of Maya with sexy models and then lure young victims into Gap's mainstream buying market, which has values that drive these young pups' desires to buy more and more clothes, to look more and more fashionable, and appeal to the next sexy girlfriend. The hidden message from the Gap is, sex before marriage is good, and feel free to experiment and have as many girlfriends as you want, because you'll need lots of good clothes to impress them. I wish I could convey this reality to these young Sikh posters on this event page, but ironically, most of the time, they'll never listen. Well, I hope that you do listen to what I'm saying, because this is the reality, that these Western corporations use uh, the young Sikh minorities that come from other countries, they, they project this image out there of integration of these uh, minorities, when in reality, what they're really interested in doing is getting into this net of Maya, so that you're integrated into this whole social fabric of buy, 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 and spend more and more and more to impress their girlfriends and to um, get more. That's the whole agenda of these corporations. Don't let them fool you. Alright, so please visit my other videos. I have a lot more information there and um, I also have a book that I, I wrote, uh, Confessions of an Arab Conceit, which tells more about my experiences in India. And again, it, it's only 99 cents on Amazon, but if you want a free copy, you don't feel like you want to pay 99 cents, or that you should pay me 99 cents. I don't make any money on the thing. Just write me and I'll send you a free copy. Thank you for your time. Why did you call Sa? Why did you keep a day?